1956 Lincoln Cent. Graded as MS67 Plus read by NGC. With nearly a half million pieces coined, this issue is hardly rare, even in fully red gem condition. It is only at the MS67 RD level that the population thins considerably. MS67 Plus gems are relatively rare. Total of $1,194.75 was realized from the sale of this specimen at auction. Number 7. 1950 Lincoln Cent. Graded as MS67 Plus read by NGC. This is another issue that is surprisingly scarce in MS67 RD. Typical of Philadelphia mint cents from this period, the 1950 issue is usually well struck but with a duller, brick red color than for cents of the war years and later 1950s. Many survivors also suffer from spotting and light staining. There are no varieties of note, though a few cut dye breaks are known. This high-graded specimen ended up selling for $1,762.88 with buyer's fee. Number 6. 1941 Lincoln Cent with Double Dye Obverse. Graded as MS66 Plus read by PCGS and proven by CAC. A desirable double dye variety with the strongest spread on the 4 in the date and the burr in Liberty. Cherry Pickers lists three DDO varieties for the issue, and FS101 is intermediate between FS102 and FS103 in terms of importance. This MS66 specimen ended up selling for $2,931.75 with buyer's fee. Number 5. 1943 D. Lincoln sent with repunched mint mark D over D. He mint mark is boldly repunched on this variety which is scarce in all grades and rare at the superb gem level. This piece is among the finest examples attributed at PCGS. Brilliant, pristine luster illuminates satiny surfaces and sharp design elements. No impairments are seen. It was sold for $12,000. Number 4. 1922 No D. Lincoln sent with strong reverse. Graded as MS63 Brown by NGC. No cents were struck at the Philadelphia Mint dated 1922, the only such emission of the small cent denomination. Cents were coined in Denver that year. Collectors were thus mystified when occasional cents were encountered in commerce bearing the 1922 date but without a letter D below the date. Eventually, numismatists determined that three die pairs of 1,922 D cents lack the D die pair 1 and 3 have a weak reverse and sometimes show portions of the D die pair 2 has a strong reverse and never shows a remnant or ghost of a mint mark. This die pair 2 example fetched a sum of $15,000. Number 3. 1914 D. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 65 read by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, few other issues in the Lincoln Wheat Cent series are as challenging as the low mintage 1914 D, 1.1 million coins. Survivors prove particularly elusive at the gem grade level, especially with red color. Satiny luster washes over clean gold and orange surfaces. There are a few variations in hue with elements of rose, green, violet, and steel blue, all of which enhance the visual quality. The raised design elements are uniformly well struck. Housed in a green label holder, it was sold for $15,000. Number 2. 1946 Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus read by PCGS. According to NGC, with a high mintage for a San Francisco mint coin and the usual hoarding of S mint cents by collectors and speculators, this issue is quite plentiful in mint state grades. Even gems are only slightly scarce, though the more astute collector will want to hold out for one which is fully struck from fresh dyes. These are surprisingly difficult to locate, as the San Francisco mint in the late 1940s was very budget-minded and ran the dyes way too long. This elusive specimen was sold for $25,312.50 with buyer's fee. Number 1. 1959 D. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 68 read by PCGS. This is the single finest 1959 D. Lincoln Cent at PCGS, a must-have coin for an advanced registry set builder. Wisps of powder blue and lilac color complement beautifully preserved copper orange surfaces awash in satiny luster. It was sold for $38,400. Thanks for watching this episode. If you found these information helpful, make sure to hit subscribe and like buttons before you move one with another video. Have a good one.